was there a dog that was kind of lanky? Um, it's, it feels like the energy of an old hound dog, but it does, I'm not quite sure if it's a hound dog. It feels like it might be something different than that. Um, I want to say Bo. Is there somebody named Bo or something similar? My first dog is named Bo Bo. German Shepherd. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. She wants to say thank you so much for everything you guys did for her. You know, she talks about how she could count on you. You know, she could she could have the sneezes or the sniffles and and she could blow her nose. She'd be like, oh my nose is raw. And you'd be like, oh I'll go get some softer tissues. described that she had the sniffles and, and you went out and yeah. got it. Wow. Good <laughs> job, Mom. Man, she's rocking this today. He says, I'm sorry I can't watch over you in the physical, but he says, he says, I'm actually going to be able to do a slightly better job watching over you from spirit. <laughs> But he does say, now watch out for those boys. <laughs> you always say that. He said, when you bring them on the front porch, I'm going to grab my gun. Yep, my shotgun. I, I see him like with the shotgun image, the shotgun father. Yeah. Um, a couple other people want to ask, is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Ask him, who do he want to take care of his dog? All right, one moment. Okay. All right. Um, so, I, I'm getting a couple of things. One is, you know that expression, it takes a village? Yeah. All right. So, he does, it feels like he does want everyone to kind of watch out uh, for her. Now, but also, is there somebody... Um, a feminine energy, um, somebody with a name like Carol Ann. Carol Ann. She's a mama. She's the mama of the group. She knows you take care of everybody. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so nobody's surprised that he says Carol Ann. No. Wonderful. So Ricky wants to say thank you so much, Carol Ann, for watching over my baby. And then he wants to say, but she's not going to be the one with the shotgun. We need somebody else in for the for the boys. <laughs> Who's into horses? Oh God. My uh, my dad was a horse trainer, and his dad, who passed, owned a horse farm. And then my dad's mom, who is living, talks to me about going back to horse shows. Wow, horses are all over your family. <laughs> Just on my dad's side. Right. Yeah. That's great, Dad. That's awesome. That's a that's a good one. Good job. <laughs> Now, I, I am getting a reference to the importance of a vehicle for him. He had a car. He had a car that he just had bought. Oh, um, he just bought a car. Okay. 
He really liked that car. He really loved that car. <laughs> yeah. He was proud of that. He loved it. He loved that car. He was so proud of that car. Yeah. He's like, well, you know, if I had to go, I'd do it in my car. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yep, yep. I feel like there's something dangling. I don't know if this is dangling from the rear view mirror or from his keys. Me and my mom were actually talking about it last night. Yeah, he had all kind of little dangling things. He liked to hang stuff. I actually have a cross of his that I have on me right now, actually. That okay. was perfect. Well, perfect then. Um, you know, as long as that makes sense to you, okay. and you were just talking about it, so that sounds like it's very validating. Nice. Good. And then I also saw a bandana. Pink bandana. I keep it around. I keep it around my ruby mirror. He loved his bandanas. And so, remember earlier when I was talking about something dangling from the rearview mirror? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, said that, he says, I love you, Mama. I love you, Sean. I love you and I miss you more. He, he says he wanted to bring up these things so that you would know, without a shadow of a doubt, that it was really him. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Yeah. 